Hello space engineers, this is my gravity missile. I'll show you how to work it. You just turn it on and it's armed now. You can go flying around with your ship or whatever to fire it. You just unlatch it and it'll fire. And it's fired with a rock with gravity. I'll show you the trick to, to make it so deadly. I'll show you how deadly this is in a second. But I'll show you the trick first. Um, once this gets out of gravity range, I will. So you drop your rock on the ground that you're going to use as ammo, and you start putting on a gravity generator one at a time. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I already know this is going to take nine. Seven, eight, nine and it'll start tearing through. That's the magic number for that weight. So as long as you have the magic number on for the rock, your missile's going to be destructive. Um, this one looks like a pretty good pass. Sometimes it deflects, but this one went straight through almost, it looks like. Yeah, this one will be a perfect example. Um, I'll show you this target while it's digging in. So there's 15 layers, colored layers with one space between and then the center is solid, this gray part here is solid um, all the way through for 30 blocks, so it's 30 blocks thick um, I don't know much else to say I guess just watch and enjoy for a second Now I've already tested this missile multiple times and I know that this is going to dig all the way through and once this missile comes through you're going to notice a couple things that it still has lots of length meaning that it could probably pierce another 20 length approximately and then another thing I'll point out is when it comes through is this is also a bunker penetrating missile because once the landing gear that's holding the rock gets destroyed, it will launch the rock through just like you saw on that platform, how the rock was standing still, but once it got released it'll still tear through everything even if it's standing still. So that's what that magic number is used for. Oh, it looks like we, like we got a separation here. But see, if it was to get destroyed up to there, and that rock would get ejected and go through another 30 blocks. So. As you can see, it would still tear through and build another 30 blocks, approximately, after it already tore through this. Um, this was solid blocks all the way through, almost, as you can see from... from there to back see where we got solid destruction from. So that's where it tore through solid blocks all the way through. So it can tear through 30 blocks.